the seat of a 430 Scuderia that I've been kindly passed the keys to by Andy here. Brilliant. Thank you so much, dude. First of all, I'd like to get your take on what this car means to you and how it came about. Why did, did you go for a, a Scuderia? Yeah, so it's fascinating because I had a friend of mine who had a, a Charles Stradale. I had a, okay. another mate of mine who went and bought himself a Speciale. Right. And I thought, well, there's a holy trinity. What, yeah. What's the other one to get? Good the, call. the other one to get is a Scuderia. Yeah. And it has exceeded my expectations in so many ways from, from what I thought it was going to be like to what it's actually turned out to be, uh, you know, as an ownership prospect. It's been yeah. fantastic. So, from, from my perspective, I think um, the way it sounds, the way it feels through, yeah. the, through the steering wheel yeah. in terms of the, the actual driving experience, it's virtually unsurpassed. They're and I've driven thing. so many different cars. Yeah. This, this is amazing. So, the purpose of this video is that I have a bit of a story about my ownership experience with a 430 Scuderia. Yeah. Um, I had one for about six months, and not to scare you, but I wrote mine off. <laughs> <laughs> this Thanks is, for telling me that now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a part of the story that I haven't told Andrew yet. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so this is the story about how I wrote off my Scuderia. <laughs> Uh, sorry to drop that on you last minute, but I thought if I told you, it'd scare the shit out of you. So, <laughs> rest assured, since then I've matured a lot. <laughs> Things are fine. Don't um, worry, I've written off a few guys. Okay, time, cool. So that's fine. Do you know what? I do believe, obviously, touch wood, as long as you come out of a crash, you a learn a lot from it. You do. You, you learn a lot. Mm. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Absolutely, man. Yeah, and believe me, it almost did. <laughs> so, so, I class the Scuderia as my first proper supercar. Yeah. yeah. Before that, I had Audi R8, um, and I had a, a, a Porsche Cayman S as well. Yeah, yeah. Both great cars, but it's not until you get into the realms of a prancing horse yeah, or yeah. something like that that you really appreciate what yeah. a thoroughbred supercar is. Okay. And the Scud became my first supercar, and also first Ferrari as well. Um, I, it's the same for me. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. So, first proper supercar. Yes. And I went back home to where I grew up for two reasons. I was yep. going back to visit an old friend, yep. show him the car, yep. take him out in it. And also, where I grew up, the roads there were fantastic. Yep. So I thought, this is going to be a great opportunity. Go and see an old friend, go around some great Have roads. A blast. Brilliant. Yep. And we did, and we went around, had a great day. I'm driving back home, and we went the back roads to find some yep. which great you knew, roads. Obviously. Which I knew. Yeah. Off by heart, right? Yeah. Like the back of my hand. Yeah. At least I thought I did. We were, <laughs> honestly, when I say this, we were two miles from home. Yeah. Um, and I was driving down this road that I was convinced there was at least another 500 yards worth of tarmac. Right. And there wasn't. Right. There was not. And I, I was convinced in my head that yeah, around yeah, yeah. here, it come around to the corner, then yeah. a straight, yeah. then a T-junction. Yeah. What actually happened was I came around the, the, the corner and it was just T junction. Fortunately, it was late at night, yeah. there was no traffic, and I went straight on at this T junction. T -junction. Um, hit the curb so hard that the wheels yeah. shattered the discs. Yeah. Fortunately, that impact took most of the, the energy. energy. Yeah. Yeah. The car took off, I landed in a sort of half bush, half tree. Like this, full airbags went off, Jesus. everything. Um, obviously, if I was going slower, yeah. I'd have stopped. Yeah. The the experience was just, it recalibrated yeah, 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 how yeah, yeah. I I drive yeah. now because it doesn't matter how good I think I know a road, and yeah. especially if I definitely don't know it. Yeah, you slow down. Yeah. Not only You're... do I slow down, but I just read the road yeah, yeah. differently yeah, yeah. now. Um, it and it was amazing. a bad night, man. That was a really bad that's night. That's an amazing one. Firstly, you're lucky you're alive, which is yeah, brilliant. absolutely. That's brilliant. That's right. Yeah. The second thing is, it's it is when you and I've had a few accidents myself, unfortunately. Yeah. When when you have that accident and you experience it, yeah, that experience you it just changes it the changes way in which you, you drive. It totally and changes you. You man. have yeah. to, in, in a funny way, yeah. you almost have to have that type of experience in some environment. It would be best it's to have so it true. in a very safe environment. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and that's why advocating because I got three boys who are just about to get get to drive soon. Yeah. 
get them out into into a safe environment like totally. a, a racetrack with a car, yeah. and they can figure and, out what let happens. Let them spin out. Absolutely. Because it, I mean, God, because it changes your, your, your if, view. If you of haven't things. had an experience of yeah. a car breaking losing loose control, on you, losing yeah. control yeah. of a car, yeah. because I think people's perceptions are, I'm in this secure yeah. metal box. Oh, and, but it, they and guess what? It's like a Ferrari. Cardboard. Yeah, yeah exactly. Do. Yeah, it's a Ferrari. You can handle better. It can go faster. You can stop faster. So I'm fine. That's right. Although I'll tell you not. I will say one thing, before I hit the curb, I did shed off a huge uh, amount of speed. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, yeah, on the one hand, I was driving faster because of the car yeah. I was in, but yeah. it did, yeah, I tell you what, it shaved off some, some yeah, yeah. Uh, pace, but uh, God, I, I bet I hit that curb at 50. Yeah. Um, no well, it shattered the discs. You know, the shattered lead. the discs, yeah. both yeah. of the wheels were just written off. The car was written off, it was totally yeah. screwed. Um, so that evening, yeah. um, because I'd driven back to where I grew up, my family lived in the area. <laughs> so I phoned my dad, who didn't know I was back in the area, because right. I was just seeing a friend. And he was like, hey, how are you doing? This is like 12 o'clock at night. Yeah. I was like, um, I'm in a hedge. <laughs> and he was like, oh. He was like, where? I was like, as it happens. <laughs> two miles from well, your house well. so he came out and what was interesting I was much more concerned about what he the thought dad's of reaction, yeah. way more I didn't yeah. care about the car as much as I did yeah. about him what's dad gonna think about what exactly I've done. yeah he was like you know well, you know okay well done you've afforded yeah. your first nice car now you've, written it off. Now you've gone and yeah. binned it you know and my friend was in the car too oh, so wow. I kind of put his yeah, yeah. life at yeah, risk yeah. Um, and for three months, man, I just felt terrible. Like yeah. I played it over and over, yeah, yeah. so much so that I went back the following week and I replayed it. Yeah. I went down there like yeah, really yeah, steady, like, yeah. and I just went back and I was like, you know, how did that go wrong? Yeah. We, were, we were probably talking and not really but thinking straight. You know straight. what? You know what? Most people won't do that, and that's actually a really good thing to do yeah, because yeah, then you realise actually what mistake you've made. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So. I mean, ultimately, and this is obvious. Just going too fast. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah, uh, but I wasn't looking back. I just wasn't concentrating. Yeah. I was. We were talking. We were talking about the car. Talking about old times. Yeah. You know. And I, and I was going. And as you well know, in, in a car like this, it's effortless. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. You can thread this down a country lane yeah, at eighty yeah. and just not yeah, yeah. think about it. Um, yeah. So I, I went back there, and I actually parked up and I walked the yeah. road. How did I do that? Yeah. You know. It's so bad. Yeah. Um, that's Fortunately, crazy. both myself and my friend were totally fine. He actually did break his uh, knuckle yep. because his instinct was to stick out his hands. Right. And then um, the airbag. Exactly. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And all the airbags went off. Yeah, when airbags yeah. go off in a car, it's like yeah. someone's had a talcum powder yeah, bomb. Yeah, yeah. It just goes white. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so <laughs> my Jesus dad Christ. turns up anyway, and as soon as he knew I was fine, he was he got his, his phone out and he yeah. filmed it all. Did he? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. So what's great is I'm able to share it now. Yeah, so exactly. in this clip, I'll like in this oh, video, no, I'll be splicing it. There's fluid leaking all over the place there. It's very fluid. Yeah. Right. It's good luck. It's... What was interesting, he was filming it and he was like, do you know what, the next time you buy a fast car, I'm going to show sure. you this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was like, not laughing, but he yeah, was like yeah, quite yeah. smug about it. Yeah. He was like, I've been there, you know, don't worry. Fortunately, everything's fine. Yeah. He says, but just remember, you're not Ayrton Senna. Yeah. 
and since then I've just been a more yeah. careful driver. Um, and the guilt that I sort of carried with me because my friend was there as well, he was just there for a nice time and yeah. it ended up in, 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 a, bad in a really bad yeah. way. Yeah. Um, That's a shame. But Still your mate? Still mates, great <laughs> mates, and he's since I've got new cars, he still yeah, gets cool. in still gets with in. me. I've, I got one good yeah. mate of mine who's a very nervous driver, yeah. Right. And I, he, we had a, we went on a track day, and okay. he was in his four five eight, nice in Monza, of all places. Oh, fabulous track, it was an amazing track, fantastic. And uh, he hates, he absolutely hates um, somebody else driving him. Okay. However, he said yeah. because it's you, Andrew, I will. I will stay in the car and I'll try yeah. and do as many laps as you go. He did six laps and he went, I gotta get I out! Gotta get out. <laughs> six laps is bad actually. He did, six really laps well. is pretty, he did really well. Going. Sponsor's fast as oh, well. That was a crazy, crazy really track. Fast. Yeah. Crazy track. Fuck. I've had a um, a wheel come off on a 599 down, down <laughs> one of the straights in Monza. You are kidding yeah. me. Yeah. What happened? Uh, we had we parked it up over the side and. It uh, didn't, like, no, it didn't, you thank out. goodness. Because so what had happened? We've been round, uh, and I'm going to get the to get the ones wrong. So we felt it going down the main straight, and we felt it going down the main straight. Went yeah. around a corner, and it's like this is weird. You know, didn't I didn't Did know what it was. Yeah, like just it was a little shimmy, yeah. Shim, okay. And so it was a little shimmy, and we're going. This is odd. And then we started going round uh, the two Lesmos, one and two Lesmos. Yeah, yeah. And it was round the second Lesmo. The, the back just started stepping out massively, and, and then the, the, the wheel came off. Literally came off. Yeah, and basically it came off, uh, got, got, got it back to the pits, and wow. uh, minus a wheel, and uh, they, wow. they said about trying to figure out what the hell happened to it. To be fair, I'm amazed it didn't spit you out. Yeah, well, I mean, it was fortunate. At that speed as well. Because we're doing probably 270, 280 down the main straight kilometres, down the main straight. Wow, yeah. And in that car, and yeah. if it had gone off then, that's when it would have been a very, very bad accident. Yeah. yeah. So we were very lucky. Amazing, um, Wow. But that was pretty cool. Pretty, yeah. uh, pretty unbelievable experience as well. So, so, what's your worst stack then? Bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> my, worst, my worst one was by far when I was 18 years old. Okay. And I'd been given a new flash car by my father. Yeah. Um, because I begged him to. Because I've I'm I'm a, been a car nut since forever. Cool. Yeah. And uh, it was a Suzuki Swift GTI, which back yeah. in the day, yeah. in 19, 1989, was, okay. a, was a pretty cool, fast little rice bucket nice. um, yeah. in, uh, in Australia. And I went around a corner yeah. uh, on a big six-lane highway Yes. Um, up in the north of Sydney yeah. and went around a massive corner, way, way too fast, got it sideways over the top of the brow because yeah. the whole car got light, went nice sideways to the top, <laughs> yeah. corrected it, Okay. went Ooh, back the other it. way, yeah. corrected yeah. it, and it's hit, on you. but I hit the centre reservation, spun it, Full 360 yeah. under the, oh, and all I remember is the sparks flying from the from the oh roof Christ. as it went over. You were upside down. Upside down. Oh, you, so you did it properly. I did a full 360 back wow. under the back under the wheels. <laughs> Fortun- carried on going. <laughs> Fortunately, I did carry on going. Fortunately, the, the, the one thing was it was a it was an orange uh, going to a, an amber light going to a red light in the right. in the intersection, and yeah. I went through the intersection on my roof while all the lights around were red. And it was it was that oh split second. You know, Wait, this is like, are you going to make red. this or not? Yeah, split second when everything was red and all the cars were stopped, and I literally went through my roof on uh, through the red lights and uh, survived. Right. Because I would not have survived if no, if something cars had been going the other way. Impact, yeah. one of those. Good God. It just makes you so, think. When it's your time, it's your time, yeah, and obviously and that was not my time. It wasn't your time. That wasn't my time. I mean, it's funny so how it. we could both sit here now and sort of have a bit of a laugh about it, but yeah. at the time, oh, dude. It affected me for months, yeah. honestly, it really yeah. did. I was well, not in a good way. Probably, I would say longer than that, actually. Yeah. And and the one thing that I did do, and it's exactly what you did, which has resonated with me, was yeah. I went back went and back. walked it. Walked I it, I walked yeah. it to figure out what actually I had done. Yeah. Of course it was speed, yeah. I was going too fast. Yeah. But it was the fact that I lifted off at a certain point that I should okay, not have done yeah. um, in a front wheel drive car yeah. and got it massively sideways. And yeah. what is that? <laughs> <laughs> We just okay. got done by a Sayer. <laughs> a yellow Sayer. A yellow Sayer, <laughs> even better. <laughs> Excellent. So, you know, yeah. so, but, it's, but it, it teaches you, yeah? It's the I experience. Don't, absolutely, yeah. If you don't die in yeah. a car accident totally. like that, it makes you a much, much better driver. Yeah. I think that, that, that going back to it and walking it and, and massively re-driving it, massively. for me, was like, you know when the, they say 
when you fall off a horse, the first thing you should yeah. do is get back on it. Yeah. Going back, yeah. like I was actually quite nervous. I was yeah, like, yeah. Shit. and yeah. honestly, I went back. It was only a, a week later, yeah. and I I went in the hedge and I picked up yeah. good rear parts. Like, yeah. I picked up bits of. So that's why you shouldn't go fast. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. So we just had someone overtake a cyclist on our side of the road. Fortunately, crazy, we were trying to do a thirty. I honestly think if we were doing a much faster than that, might have been a bit tight. Yeah, would have been. Yeah. Crazy. So, yeah. There we are. We sound like granddads. I know we do, man. It's so funny. It's like, oh, that guy's going too fast. <laughs> yeah. But what's funny about this video is uh, you had no idea what that I was going to tell you. Can I, can I borrow your scooter yeah. rear to uh, oh, chat yeah, about sure. the fact that I wrote a scooter rear off? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> you are driving this very, very. This, it's brilliant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was in one of these, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> didn't work out too exactly. well. So, so uh, that's a good chat, though. It's a good I, chat. No, it's great, man. I really appreciate you letting me Dude, uh, it's drive awesome. it. It's awesome. uh, amazing. This, here's the thing. This yeah. is what these cars are for. Yeah, it totally. really is. Uh, it's, sharing I, experience is a great thing. Love cars. I think they're absolutely amazing. I want to show good cars to as many people as possible absolutely. in my life. Yeah, yeah? yeah, totally. And so the amount of times you can get out and you can share yeah. this experience with people. Absolutely, man. It's the way to do it. Yeah. I, that's actually why I started my channel yeah. was because I wanted to take people along for these rides. Yeah. As yeah, it were. It's right? very cool. It's great, man. And, so, cool. and also, what I've found through cars is I've met fantastic people. Yeah. Yourself. Yeah. You Thank know, you. it's great. Up until now, I've known you like half an hour. Yeah. And here we are, I'm driving your car, <laughs> we're chatting time. about life experiences. <laughs> and it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's brilliant. So, and you let's, let's try and hear the car. <laughs> it's still got a bit of that old like yeah. race car about yeah, it, yeah. you know? Yeah, it does. Pretty special stuff. Now, I don't get to do this normally, yeah. so I'm going to video yeah. you taking off up here. Yeah, do it, man. Drop a car. Go for it. Buddy, thank you so yeah, much for that. Cool. That was fantastic that was awesome. experience. Uh, <laughs> really I hope cool. that that story I dropped on you wasn't wasn't too <laughs> nerve wracking. <laughs> uh, no, I appreciate it, and you've got yourself yeah, a, a, a beautiful car. Yeah, it is fantastic. Fabulous. Yeah. Thanks, Very a lot, cool. dude. Yeah. Cheers. Awesome.